Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Recoil TV Full Auto Friday. Today I'm with my friend Ben and we're gonna talk about the Sten Mark II. Now, this guy you probably remember from a lot of World War II movies. It has been used in every conflict since 1941 to present day because between 1941 and 1945, they made about four million of these things. So you know a little bit about this, Ben. So why don't you bring it well, in? Well, I know that Shepard and Turpin and Enfield is and that's what why that stands for. And that's for. why Sten. it's called Sten. And then Enfield somehow gets two letters. I don't understand that for well, the life of me. They, they were a major manufacturer. Whatever. They so, stole two letters. So in, in World War I, uh, it became really readily apparent that we needed like more submachine guns for close quarters battle. And you have to think about it when, you know, they have bolt action rifles. You can maybe get 15, 20 rounds a minute if you're and, really And hard. they're that big. Yeah. So you want to use you want to do you want to use one of those in the house? No, I want that. You want to use one of these guys. Now, th these were super crudely made. Uh, more than ten manufacturers up until 1945 alone, and I like to say this looks like a high school welding project. If the kid got like a C minus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would say he might have passed. Yeah. So super minimalistic, as you can see, has this grip here. Now, what you want to do, like your first impulse when you shoot this is to grab the magazine, and frankly, that's just a good way to get a malfunction. Once again, the- a, a little the, bit of slop in that magazine <laughs> when you touch it. <laughs> the quality levels of these were super variable, and to top it off, it only shoots about five to 600 rounds per minute, so when you, you wanna grab it either by this shoulder thing that goes up, the heat shield, or put your hand right here. But watch your fingers, because that moves. Oh yeah. Yeah. So simple, stupid blowback operation, but it is a classic. And I mean, just you can tell, we can go to Lowe's or like Napa. Oh, we can build that. And totally make one we of can these. Do that. Shepard and Turpin, eh, this wasn't too much of a design yeah. issue there. I mean, it was made to be cheap, right? And I, yeah. they, they accomplished that goal. And it's full auto only, big, ugly ejector. Uh, the, our particular model here doesn't even have a front sight and it's not gonna make much of no, a difference. No, it isn't, because that can go in between those two protective leafs of the non-existent front sight. And I mean, and really, this is for German hosing yeah. in World War II. Yeah. And frankly, any gun that kills Nazis. Well, it's good with me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So. Well, I wore my hat for the range today, so. A little, a little bit it. of Peaky Blinders my, action. Yeah, Peaky Blind, my little Sten gun hat. That's See, what we'll call it today. Peaky Blinders would have been like World War One, but it's in the yeah, spirit whatever. of. It's in the they spirit of. They wore these. Of. They're British. Whatever. So uh, <laughs> let's go on the range and right. uh, pretend we're killing some Jerry's. Let's check it out. All right. All right. So we have the Sten Mark II. Understand that I don't know what year this was made. They made a million of them a year for like four years. This could be like from some mammy's garage put together by her grandson, Skip. You really know how to For the Battle of confidence. England. And because of this, I just want you to remember, this is an open bolt gun of questionable quality. That's so, why I get to shoot. So try not to think about that when you're pulling the trigger on here. Thanks. And so- I'm gonna go yeah, ahead and just drop Take your that janky first. safety off. And then, then I'm going to put your mag, your mag when it's safely pointed yeah. down range. We're going to do it this way. Okay. But okay. remember, don't hold on to that mag because okay, it's you'll in. just make it jam. But make All sure right. your fingers stay out of the way of that bolt. And try not to think about if they had headspace gauges for that in 1940. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Here we go. Slow rate of fire. Very Once slow again. rate of fire. Really easy to keep the gun on target. Wasn't bad. Even with the uh, the stock being all yeah. wobbly and everything? And the Even with the stock wobbly, but it has a nice rubber texture on it. Doesn't beat you up in the face on this particular stock. Did you miss your front sight at all? Uh, no, I really didn't because <laughs> the, the protective leaves or leaves. So one of the things is I, I love fast moving sub guns but those are fun to shoot, yeah. but not as practical. Yeah. And yeah. so just seeing how simple 
and reliable this is, it makes you understand why this was used from 1940 yeah. up until literally the second Iraq war. Yeah. And uh, the first time I saw one of these, it was in the lap of a truck driver at a computer center on a fob. And I was like, what? Well, but you know what? This old buzzard still, still running. Still works. <laughs> so is this a yay or a nay? I give it a yay. I give it a yay. For being built in somebody's shed in their backyard, <laughs> it's, it'll do. Definitely don't build one at Harbor Freight using part and up. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but all that's online anyway. You might get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so join us next time when we'll make him shoot something else not Italian. There you go.